Alright guys, so let's check out our game. Pretty freaking sweet awesome. He can move around up, down, left, right on the keyboard. I mean the monsters are moving at the proper speed. And uh, he also, if you pay attention, wherever our mouse is, his gun points at the proper angle. So now we have these monsters and we have this dude right here with a gun. So I think the only logical thing to do right now is allow him to actually shoot the monsters. I mean, what's the point of his life if he cannot go around shooting monsters? Pretty pointless. So let's give his life some meaning and allow him to do just that. So I think that it would be good if we allowed a bullet to come from his gun every time we clicked with a mouse because... Our keyboard is actually kind of busy with the up, down, left, right movement. So this will give the player, you know, make it a little more playable. So what we need to do is we need to add an event. Now this event is going to consist of two things. First, it's going to have the condition whenever the user clicks the mouse. And the event is going to be shoot a bullet. Pretty easy. So... Um, I'll show you guys, it's, it's kind of a tricky way, not that intuitive, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Now, we want to add an event, or we can just double click, whatever you want to do. And it's a mouse event, because this is pretty much the thing that you're checking for, the thing you're waiting to happen. So double click mouse, and for this, choose on click. So click next, and it says... What button do you want to use? Well, the left one is the you know default one. That's the one that people always click. And the click type, we can just uh, leave that as click, the default, and click done. So now our game is going to check when the user clicks on their mouse and we didn't have anything happen yet. So that's why we need to add the action, the thing that's going to happen. So what's going to happen when they click their mouse? We'll click action and press this. Oh, I got a frog in my throat. So... You may be thinking, okay, we want something to happen to the bullet, but what we actually want to do in this player, in the, or excuse me, I kind of just gave it away. In this instance, I shouldn't say instance, that's another thing. In this occasion, is we want something to happen to the player, and I'll show you why, or I'll explain it. Whenever they click, we want a bullet to be generated right on that player's gun. That's where we want to create the bullet. So... In order to do that, you don't look at the bullet, you look at where the player is. I know this isn't that intuitive, but you guys are going to see what I'm, I'm doing in just a second. So we want something to happen to that user. So click player, and now what we want to do is we want to scroll down and look for a word called spawn. So what we want to do is we want to spawn another object. So double click that, and now what's going to happen is every time we click on the mouse, some object is going to appear where that player was. So that's all we're saying. So that way, wherever the player is, that's where the bullets appear, because he has the gun, obviously. So what object do we want to appear? Well, we want the bullet to appear. That's when we click bullet. And now, this layer, we can just go ahead and press 1, because as you can see over here, we want it to appear in the main layer. That's where all of our sprites are. The monsters, the main character, so on and so forth. The background, we don't want it to appear there. And for the image point, we can just go ahead and leave as zero right now. And I'm going to be showing you guys the problem with this and how to fix it in the next tutorial. So click done. And now, basically, what this is saying is whenever the user clicks on the mouse, what's going to happen is a bullet is going to appear right where the player is and remember the the nature of a bullet if we click on this right here as soon as a bullet is created it comes out with a speed of 600 and it and it also has bullet behavior which means it goes in one direction so we don't need to program that at all that's just the nature of a bullet whenever one gets created it starts acting like a bullet how awesome is that so now once you go ahead and run this you see, that was the original one that first came out, that was on the screen, and now whenever I click with the mouse, a bullet gets spawned right where this player is, and whatever angle he's pointing, the bullet travels, they say bullet, the bullet travels in a straight line, 600 pixels per second, and it doesn't ever turn. But I'm going to go ahead and click this a bunch of times, and look carefully at my player if you can. Since we have that origin point, or the image point, as uh, you guys saw it, at zero, 
what that means is it's going to spawn right in the middle of our player, which means it's going to come right from the top of the head, which looks kind of weird because he doesn't have a gun taped to his head. The gun's in front of his hands. So how do we have the bullets originate from his gun rather than the top of his head? Well, in the next tutorial, that's what I'm going to teach you guys. It's actually pretty easy. So uh, for now, just remember that whenever you're making bullets come from a gun, the action that you want to add is actually a player action and it spawns and creates a bullet like that. So a little, you know, not that intuitive, but now that we're done with that, we can go move on to something else. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, if you have any questions, ask me on my forum, link below.